Drexel has been competing in basketball since 1894. The Dragons have a rich tradition of basketball excellence in the city of Philadelphia, but always stood in the shadows. The Big Five was formed in 1955. LaSalle, Penn, St. Joe's, Temple, and Villanova. The five Division I basketball programs in Philadelphia at the time. But since joining Division I in 1973, the Drexel Dragons have clawed out of the shadows, making five NCAA tournament appearances and competing with all of the Big Five members. Now, in 2023, 50 years after joining Division I, Drexel has officially become a part of the Big Five, adding to the basketball tradition in Philadelphia, one of the only places in the country with six competitive Division I basketball programs. From 1996 to 2014, Drexel and LaSalle played eight games, with the Explorers winning seven of them. But over the last several years, it's been the Dragons who have owned the edge in this series, winning four of the last seven, including four straight at Gola Arena in North Philly. Last season on December 10, 2022, Drexel outlasted LaSalle, winning 65-58 in overtime as Coltrane Washington and Amari Williams combined for 35 points. We'll build on our experiences because we have some, a lot of guys that were in that building and on that floor that day, and hopefully we'll have a chance to perform better and more consistently uh, to deserve to win. I mean, I think last year, I know it was a big overtime win. I think it gave us the confidence that we needed to just continue to know that we can we can play it against any of these teams and we can compete with any of those teams. So I think that we know it's going to be a dog fight. And any time you play a team in Philly, it's going to be a, a good game, a good fight. Yeah, I mean, that was a great win last year, but last year is last year. That's over with. Uh, this is a new year, new team. They have a new team, so we respect them. And we come in there, we, we play. The score will start at 0-0. So we go out there and we play hard. And we handle our business and do what we're supposed to do. So I think one of the things that Temple and the South both share um, is just like a really, really rich history within Philadelphia. Um, LaSalle is obviously coached by Fran Dunphy, who um, is like the godfather of the Big Five. Um, he played at LaSalle back in the day. He coached Penn um, to a lot of league championships and NCAA appearances. He coached Temple um, to a lot of league championships. The fact that they're Big Five games and it adds an extra hype and, and there's a lot more meaning when you step on the court and you're playing against another Big Five opponent. Um, it's not like playing a conference game. They're just as meaningful for us, but um, I think it means more to, to the people in the city and to our fans, kind of that, that pride and um, like bragging rights, being able to brag and, and say we're the best team in the city, so. You know, there's fuel to the fire, uh, cause I feel like we're always looked down upon, but at the same time, it's just another, it's just another basketball game. You know, we, we go out there and we, we suit up the same way for them that we suit up for everybody else in our league and non-conference, so. Uh, not, the mindset doesn't really change. You still have to play every game like the, the same, prepare the same way. But I think just there is an added layer of like excitement and maybe a little nervousness when you play these teams closer to home. You might have a, more people that you know coming to the games, but in terms of like the preparation and all that, it's still the same. You still have to go out there and compete. Uh, I, I think when you're a coach, you're just preparing for the next game on your schedule. You know, every game should be the biggest game because it's the next game. And we tell our guys that all the time. So we'll be ready to play for LaSalle because it's our first game of the season. Uh, we'll be excited to play that game, but uh, we know that it's an awesome opportunity to represent Drexel in that inaugural Big Five game. I feel like Drexel is, is making a leap in Philly sports, you know. The jump that they've made in the past couple of years has been, uh, been major, and especially it's been good to the city. And I feel like if we keep improving, it's only going to get better. If I'm being honest, I think we're kind of an underdog. I don't think anybody really puts Drexel up there on the map, but I think just give us some time and you'll, you'll see what Drexel's all about. These games definitely, they definitely mean a lot. Like we, this is Drexel's first year in the Big Five and we want to represent the university well. Um, those games are definitely grittier. The team that wins is the team that dives on the ball first and plays harder and, and wins all this 50-50 basketball. It's like, that's who wins Big Five games. Will Drexel's win streak at Gola Arena extend to five games? Or will LaSalle triumph and turn the tide to start off this Big Five tournament? Now, let's see what happens on November 7th.